on guys, I'm Biofuse, on GameSpot I'm known as Bioshock Raptor and this is my list of most anticipated games to see at E3 2011. If you don't know, E3 is basically the biggest video game convention of the year. It lasts a few days and the big companies like Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo and a few others like Ubisoft have conferences. A lot of new stuff is revealed but my favourite part of E3 are the stage demos where we get to see gameplay demos of our favourite upcoming games. With that, I'm going to count down my most anticipated games of the second half of 2011, the games I'm most looking forward to seeing at E3. Resistance 3 Though not the most successful FPS series of the current generation, the Resistance series has always had a strong emphasis on the scenery of the locations and the many interesting weapons which made it unique in its own sense. From what we have seen so far, Resistance 3 looks to have a bigger emphasis on the atmosphere, pacing and story. The games are either a hit or miss for many gamers, but I want to see how this turns out. Batman Arkham City Arkham Asylum took the gaming community by storm by actually giving us an all-round great comic book game with an original motivating story, perfect atmosphere and appealing characters. The sequel looks to have an abundance of new features, settings and characters including a whole new city and perhaps even a different playstyle, being in a somewhat open world. Battlefield 3 A series with a newly refined and improved multiplayer mode every iteration, the Battlefield series has always pleased their fans. The single player story mode looks promising, but it's the multiplayer I'm really interested in. With the newly built engine, the game should run silky smooth and have updated graphics from PC to console. E3 will no doubt bring a single player demo, but any new multiplayer news would be well appreciated. Assassin's Creed Revelations The Assassin's Creed games have been some of my most favourite games, but the series is starting to feel a little decayed and repetitive to me. So I'm hoping Ubisoft can put together a game that feels fresh while still feeling very much like the previous games. The first game was fun, though it had its flaws, and the second is one of my most favourite current gen games. Brotherhood felt more like an expansion than a fully fledged game, even though I didn't mind that, but I'm really hoping Revelation brings something largely unique to the series, and maybe even a conclusion to the story. Uncharted 3 Originally thought as the male version of Tomb Raider, the Uncharted series has quickly risen to the top of exclusives. While the core game looks and sounds generic from the outside, on the inside the games have compelling stories, gripping characters, a wonderful atmosphere, superb voice acting and graphics, some of the best pacing in games with of course heart pumping set pieces and fun platforming and shootouts, an overall well, very well polished game series. I'm definitely interested to see what turns the next game makes and if it can live up to the previous games. So that's my top 5 list of anticipated games for the second half of 2011 and the ones I'm most keen to see at E3. Of course there are many others I'm excited about including The Last Guardian, uh, the next Devil May Cry game, Metal Gear Solid Rising, uh, Modern Warfare 3 and many more. Uh, but that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.